510 Bender, Route 66 JDM Classic, and I'm here with... Darren Aragon. All right, and what have we got here today? A 1979 Datsun 620 quad cab pickup. It is Yas Marina Blue, which is color code B68, which is what came on the BMW M3s 2013-2015. The truck is pre-ran. Pretty much what would be equivalent to an inch and a quarter body, three and three quarter, four and three quarter suspension. It actually has the amp running boards on it, motorized running boards that'll actually lift and lower with the vehicle. Uh, this particular vehicle, being a four door, was not offered in the United States or Mexico. It was offered in Saudi Arabia, India, uh, Costa Rica, stuff of that nature. Uh, so it has the options that were not offered here in the States, like the wing windows the on the front doors, the headache bar on the bed. Uh, as far as the truck, the build itself, it's a frame off restoration. The frame got completely media blasted. Everything got re-zinked, all the brake lines, clutch lines, stuff of that nature, metal under the hood, bolts, nuts, uh, clear zinc. The motor normally would have been a 2.0 L-Series. It's actually a been swapped out with a 2.4 NAP-Z uh, motor, EFI fuel injection. The valve covers apparently imported from Japan. It normally would have came on the 2.4s in the minivan, so that valve cover itself is rare itself. Uh, the headers, a uh, pace setter header, uh, custom intake, uh, the EFI is actually off of a 200SX, I believe early 80s. Uh, the brain that runs the EFI is actually out of like a 93 240SX uh, convertible automatic. Where uh, And it's actually done by Jim Wolf Technologies in San Diego. They did it so it will still maintain the dual coils, just like the carbureted version would, but it is actually uh, fuel injected. So the one coil will drop off when it's under load or over 3,000 RPM. Uh, the radiator has been, it's the factory radiator, but redid to a three row high efficiency. Um, it maintains the power steering that would have came with the 2.4 motor. Um, the grill was painted in Michigan, uh, chrome painted, black accented. Um, the whole front end is chrome. The front bumper is actually a license plate delete, as well as the valance. So re-chrome, uh, Amco overrider, uh, bumper, over, bumper overriders, the uh, actual OE Nissan Fox with brush guards, the front hook, this hook actually is uh, custom made. Normally this style of, uh, style of truck of the 720 would have only had the one. When this was done integrating the 72620, I actually wanted two hooks so it looked proportioned. Uh, the Euro fogs, the running lights, uh, upper tubular uh, custom A arms. Uh, the front calipers normally were single piston. They have been changed out to the 1983 Toyota 4x4 four piston, the bigger caliper, uh, where the four pistons are the same size. Uh, it's uh, Valatani baby turbo mirrors integrated into the pillar, uh, painted uh, wipers were uh, chrome. Upper valance is shaved. Uh, hood vents have been added. Uh, the interior was done by Ernie's Upholstery in Las Vegas, Nevada. He did an absolutely awesome job. It's pretty much the kick panels are a Nissan symbol, which then runs through the front door to the back door and up around. Um, with the as well as doing the bride material, the back seat itself is the factory seat that came with, but it has been heavily modified. It got uh, refoamed so that it matches the racing bucket, so which had the four-point harness as well. Um, but to where it's the high in the center, high on the sides, added the headrest as well as a cup holder out of a Volvo wagon, as well as don't forget the flex capacitor in the middle. <laughs> nice touch. Capacitor. Nice touch. Uh, normally, the truck would have came with one of the dome lights. I actually have three, uh, three of the factory dome lights. Uh, as well as a uh, custom made box that I did for two dual voice coil shallow mount Pioneer 8s. Uh, actually, sounds pretty good.
Yeah. Uh, custom floor mats that are burned with the Datsun emblem into them. Uh, the AC in this truck is the one year only 1979 uh, AC unit. Uh, as well as in front of it, the seven inch touchscreen Pioneer. The dash bezel is custom painted. All the knobs are re chrome or actually chrome, they never were chrome. Uh, but all the accent knobs are chrome. The steering wheel is wrapped at the same time for matching. Three speed transmission. Uh, the door sills were done by Skillard and Oregon. Uh, he actually did the fronts and the rears. The rear ones are a one-off, being it's a four-door. Mm -hmm. That normally it wouldn't, mm -hmm. wouldn't have been made for that. Uh, like I said, the Van Flex uh, back window. So it's actually got the flex through, had it airbrush. You're probably not gonna be able to hear it well with the train going by, but, <laughs> but uh, that's actual glass, tempered glass. Those are very hard to come by. Wow. That's the headache bar we spoke of earlier. Uh, it's actually been refitted with the 720 lock and ignition, as well as all the key tumblers are 720. The gas door is uh, not a locking option here in the States. But like I said, it's all been redone. The tonneau cover would have fit a 05 to 13 Toyota Tacoma. It's a MX4 backflip. It is completely functional as if it was made for the truck, but uh, cut down, I believe, about three quarters off of width. Uh, about, I think in this case, nine inches off the length. Mounted the bars, uh, double walled the bed, added the compartments for the wheel chocks, the four way collapsible, uh, collapsible four way. On the other side is a tool pouch, first aid kit, and the jack bar, which has been chrome. Uh, the deluxe 79 only, uh, one year only tailgate panel. The tailgate itself is as well a U-Long tailgate, so it never had the word Dotson on it. And it, as you can see, the hooks are different than what the United States hooks would have been. Uh, it re-zinking, the chains all got re-zinked. Uh, the roll pan is pretty much made off of the stock tail lights turned into a roll pan and then re so with one piece. This particular model would have came with the ambers, and it has it, as well as I've re, uh, re-barreled one of the sockets. So both of these, instead of it being a, a brake light, running light brake light, they're both running light brake lights. Added the bumper, bumper rats, integrating those, uh, helping cover up the two inch tow package, as well as it's wired for a seven pin flat RV uh, for hauling a trailer if you have uh, electric brakes. The P3 is mounted under the dash, uh, as well as integrated reverse sensors that work, obviously. Uh, reverse sensors, um, as well as a re rear view camera. Um, it's actually fitted, so it has a 30 inch spare, uh, spare tire under the rear. Uh, it's fitted with the 15.9 gallon uh, gas tank out of a Nissan hard body. The fuel gauge, low fuel light is actually wired up and works on the dash. Yeah. KYB the shocks. Uh, Let's talk about this real quick. What do we, what do we got going on uh, here? The tailgate actually has a uh, locks, locks in it. So whenever the tunnels closed, tailgates uh, closed, arm the alarm, it'll actually lock the tailgate. So anything put inside the tailgate would be secured. As well as you could probably hear the talking alarm, the it's a Invisibeam wrapping alarm, which was big back in the back in the late '80s, early '90s. Break it down. Uh, which you probably won't be able to hear it talk. It's got the factory jack as well. I forgot factory jack still not on location. Uh, we'll see if it'll if it'll play nice. Talk. Flaps out of rubber, Q 
keep the engine compartment up clean. Uh, still braided brake lines, forgot to mention that earlier with the brake upgrade. Uh, the whole vehicle, bottom half of the vehicle, like this is actually painted chrome to match the, the balance, but it's clear broad from the, uh, from the body line down, as well as the tip of the hood and the roof. <coughs> excellent, and the, excellent, uh, excellent. Same thing all the way down from here down on the bed, and then the lip of this so the tonneau cover has a harder chance of scratching it. Uh, I think I might have mentioned the pace setter header, two-inch mm -hmm. exhaust, uh, Borla muffler. Mm -hmm. uh, I know there's got to be more. <laughs> um, All right. Yeah, I'm sure there's more. And then also uh, one of the uh, old OG, old-school mini trucker guys, uh, Russ Gurner, was the one who painted the, the logo on the back window for 702 LV Ratson for in Vegas, the pretty much a group that meets up. So that's all airbrush painted on the on the glass. That was like a old school mini truck thing back in the day, like actually painted logos instead of everybody now falling to pray for vinyl. Everything's vinyl. So right, right. as well as him doing the, uh, the back window for me, he as well did the murals on the side, which is paint as well. Excellent. So, super right. awesome guy. Definitely if uh as a you gorgeous truck. Done, you need something done. He is he's the guy. He's really good, real good with turnaround time. And... All right. Do you have an Instagram or anything for everyone to follow? No, I do not. Excellent. No. Wonderful. Well, appreciate your time today. Thanks for coming out, Darren. Thank you. Definitely.